that's our containers. If we test our IP address, it is already resolving this IP, but it can't find our WordPress website, which is what we're going to do now. We, we're going now to Docker WordPress Let's Encrypt, and we are going to follow the instructions. So what we need to do first is to edit uh, we have already downloaded this in previous videos and the only thing we have left to do is to edit both this .env file and docker-compose.yaml file and we got here our WordPress we had in previous videos already created our directories for each of our websites if you have more than two websites obviously you will have more than two directories so let's go to the first one, which is learn docker. And we had already cloned the project. Let's edit first the .env file, and then this one. We use uh, nano. I have already edited, so I'm going to tell you what I did here. So network web proxy is, stays the same. DB version stays the same. This is what I, what I have changed. I have typed my domain name here. And then dash db standing for database dash ct standing for container and also this is what I have uh, edited from the origin original file I have added dash and my domain name because if we uh, don't do that and uh, for the second website it will cause an error because they will be pointing to the same database file so imagine the databases are going to collide and we set up a root password for the database you should put something different here also this is something you should call in my case for convention I typed my uh, domain name dash db and my domain name dash db user standing for my sql user and password for specifically for this wordpress website the version of wordpress is going to be the latest one and here also the container wordpress name is going to be my domain name dash wp standing for wordpress and dash ct standing for container and also here I added here my domain name so I will avoid collisions problems with other containers by typing here my domain name in between this uh, directory WordPress table prefix I left it like that you can change it if you want most importantly the domains separated by comma www.mydomain.com right and my address in order to to get uh, notifications from the let's encrypt team and the rest is as it is we save it, Control O, and then we leave with Control X. And now we're finally going to edit Docker-Compose with your favorite Add text editor. And this is also important. You have to change here your domain name. Oh, well, actually this is whatever you want, but for us convention and to be organized, well, I decided to type here my domain name, dash DB, as the DB service. And as for the WordPress service, I decided to type my domain name dash wordpress simple and depends on since this container of wordpress is depending on the database that is to say that the database should be uh, be up and running first before the wordpress container i specify here that this name equals this name of the database service right also what i have edited is this part that also the WP, w, the WordPress command line interface, WPCLI, also depends on the database service. So that means that this container should not be running unless the database container is already running. The rest is left as it is. So I saved it with Ctrl O and I leave with Ctrl X. Finally, we're going to test this out. Hopefully it finally works because I have uh, tried this many times. So docker compose up minus the as the touch. In your case, it will take more minutes because I have already done it before. So what you will see is that you will be downloading images, pulling images, installing. And when you do that again, it will not do it again. So in my case, it will be faster. Creating. And this is it. If you want to check out if there are some errors, so you can use Docker Compose. 
in this directory tail and show me the last 30 lines if you see this the, there were no errors maybe something connection refused let's see what happened let's go to our domain and yes it is working finally yeah so title let's install learn docker my nickname i will remember that's password so we continue and yes and we log in and yes now it is working learn docker now in the next video we'll be installing the second wordpress so you can see how to install more than one wordpress website with docker on sent os 8